Hello everyone, Windows 11 and Windows 10 don't provide a straightforward way to protect a folder with a password so that no one can access this folder without putting this password. Now there are maybe out there some third party tools that can do this but they are either very complex or very expensive and also you can maybe zip the files and protect the zip file with a password but all these are not very practical ways so there is a native way in windows 11 and windows 10 to achieve this by using bitlocker disk manager and mounting points and in this video i'm gonna show you how to do this so let's switch to screen recording on my windows 11 pc and start this so the system requirements to achieve this is that you have a windows version that supports bitlocker so windows home will not work windows pro windows education and also windows enterprise will work the first step is to find empty space on any of the drives on your Windows PC so that you create a partition. If you don't have any empty space, I'm going to show you how to shrink the operating system drive. So we're going to start Disk Manager, click in the search box and then type Diskman and then click Create and Format Hard Disk and this is Disk Manager. So here on my PC, you see that I have a CD-ROM and I have my operating system drive that doesn't have any empty space. What I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna right click the C drive and then I'm gonna choose shrink volume. Just before continuing this, please note that if you make a mistake here, you might uh, render your Windows PC unusable and you might lose data. So please continue only if you are confident that you can do it and knowing the risk that I just told you about. If you're not confident in doing this, please do not continue. I am not responsible for any data loss that might occur. So here, click on shrink volume, wait for it. And here it will provide you with options. You need to choose an amount of space that will accommodate the files that you wanna protect, of course, by provisioning also some space for the future. So here, I don't want to shrink all the volume. It is not good always leave at least 200 gigabytes for the operating system so here what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna say that i want only 50 gigabytes so it amounts to 50,000 megabytes and you see that after the shrinking i will still have 211 gigabytes for my operating system so here click on shrink and wait for it and disk manager now will give you an empty partition the second step is to format this empty partition in NTFS. So right click on it and then click on new simple volume and click on next and here keep everything by default. Click on next and here make sure that you assign a drive letter for this partition. So keep it by default. Here it assigned the drive letter E. It is important to memorize this drive letter for later. So click on next. And here you can leave everything by default or you can change the volume label. The most important thing here is that you keep the file system NTFS. So here I'm going to change the label and I'm going to name it protected partition. You can name it whatever you want and click on next and then finish and wait for the partition to be created and to be formatted. So here the partition is now created and it is formatted. I'm going to minimize Disk Manager and then I'm going to open File Explorer. So now the third step is to encrypt this drive that we just created. So go to my PC and then search for the new drive. And in our case, it is the drive E and right click on it and choose turn on BitLocker. If you want all the details on BitLocker, I have previously made a video about this. I'm going to leave a link for this video in the description. Here I'm going to do it fast. So we're going to choose the option use password to unlock the drive. So check it and then put a strong password here. So I'm going to put a very strong password and then click on next. BitLocker will prompt you to save the recovery key and this is an important step in case you forget the password. There is no way to retrieve the files if you don't have a recovery key. So make sure you're saving the recovery key in a very secure place. Here for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna save it to a file in this PC. So let's save the file now. And I'm gonna save it in my documents and let's save it. And now that the file is saved, click on next and then keep everything by default. So here it is saying that encrypt use disk space only. And here, because our drive is empty, 
there is no disk space so it's gonna be very fast and keep it on new encryption mode do not choose compatible mode and then click on next and then start encrypting and it will encrypt it in a couple of seconds because the drive is empty so now you see that the drive is encrypted and it is unlocked now now because the purpose of this video is to protect a folder with a password the next step will be to assign this encrypted partition to an empty folder on your pc and thus this folder will be the folder that will be protected by a password so i'm gonna show you how to do this so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna assign this partition to a folder under documents so i'm gonna create a folder under my documents so i'm gonna right click any empty space here and then choose a new and then choose folder and i'm gonna name it protected folder and afterwards i'm gonna drag the important files under this protected folder so that to protect them so now we need to switch back to disk manager so you remember we minimize disk manager i'm gonna switch back to it and now you need to right click the protected partition that we created and now that is encrypted with bitlocker and then choose change drive letter and path and then here click on add and then choose mount in the following empty ntfs folder and then click on browse let's go to the documents folder so it is under c and it is under users and it is under user here and this is the documents folder i'm gonna expand it and we're gonna choose the protected folder that we just created it is an empty folder it's important that the folder will be an empty folder and then click on ok and ok once again so now we don't need disk management anymore i'm gonna close it and now if we go to the protected folder now that we just created we assigned the drive to it so you can access the drive now through this folder so here is a folder and now you can access it without a password because it is unlocked so see the drive here it is unlocked this is the uh, lock on it it shows that it is unlocked now we're gonna drag the important file in the protected folder let me drag it in here so now we have our files protected now the important step here is that you need to lock this folder there are two ways of doing this so either you sign out or restart the pc and the folder after you restart it it will be locked and the second way is to initiate a command line to do this so i'm gonna show you how to create this command so here i'm gonna create the batch file under documents so that to put the command that will lock this drive and this folder in it so let's open notepad and in notepad we're gonna put this command manage dash bde space minus lock and then you need to put the drive that we assigned to the partition that also we assigned to a folder so remember i told you you need to memorize the drive letter so it is e so put e here and then column and then we need to save this file so let's save it and i'm gonna save it under documents and i'm gonna call it lock e and then click on save now this is a text file so let me close notepad now and because it is a text file it cannot run so we need to change it to dot bat if you cannot see the extension of the file so that to rename it simply click on view here and then choose show and then choose file name extensions this way you can rename the file so now i'm gonna change the extension here so it's gonna be dot bat and then let's save it and it will ask you are you sure yes we are sure and now to lock the drive or the folder in case we didn't restart the pc or we didn't sign out we can run this in administrator mode so to be able to run it always in administrator mode i'm gonna create a shortcut on the desktop so i'm gonna drag it to the desktop with the right mouse button and then here i'm gonna choose create shortcuts and then right click the shortcut choose properties and then choose advanced and then choose run as administrator and then ok and ok once again so now notice that the folder is open so if we go here we can access the important files and all this stuff and notice when i run this batch file it's gonna lock this folder and you cannot access it anymore without unlocking the drive so let me show you this so double click on it and then choose yes if prompted and here see that the drive is locked and now if we try to access the folder 
we're gonna get access is denied so if you want to unlock the folder with the password you have to go to this pc and then here you see the drive you need to double click on it and this is the password prompt so put the password here that you assigned in bitlocker and then click on unlock and now if you go back to the folder which is under documents you see that the folder is unlocked and you can access the files in it let me know in the comment section below if you found this method useful to you and if you found this video also useful please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech i want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video